Hi, this is Susie Cheel, and today I'm talking with a friend of mine from across the sea, Jenny Mannion. Jenny and I met 10, 12 years ago, yeah, I think, in a ago. personal development group. We were both blogging. I think we both started blogging um, at that time. So we're very much into personal development and also law of attraction and abundance. And as this shows all about your abundant life, Jenny and I are going to have um, a chat about abundance and what it means for us and how we've used aspects of abundance and the law of attraction both to heal ourselves so welcome jenny i'm so happy to be with you susie I feel so grateful for our long friendship i know i said i was just trying i was trying to remember where we'd actually met and also i mean jenny was very helpful to me as part of my um or some of my healing journey as well so jenny where when you hear the word abundance i mean how does that how does that make you feel and how does it reflect in your life? It makes me feel really good, like filled. I guess like abundance is like fullness and it really reflects kind of everything in my life. But I think of it as like nature is abundant, you know, like oh, yeah. nature is you go outside, you can't even count the leaves or the stars or the blades <laughs> of grass or the flowers. It's just abundant. So I think of the world like that. We we are meant to live abundantly with whatever we choose in our life. I have an abundance of love, you know, of friends in my life, of people that mean a lot to me. Uh, abundance of joy, you know, for things that I love to do. Passions, I'm passionate about a whole bunch of different things that I love to do. So really just embracing life, you know, and embracing the abundance that the universe has to offer. Isn't it amazing though? It is, it's, you know, it, you sort of, uh, I think of all of that, uh, that, the abundance that we do have and um you know and as everybody knows i live by the beach and so i experience um abundance every day but i'm always so amazed that i walk past people and you know of course i say good morning and that and they they don't see it they sort of got their head down and it's so sad when people are missing um just you know, what the abundance the universe has provided, uh, besides the fact that that human contact we have with people makes us even more abundant. I mean, recently, I wrote a blog post called, Are You Loving Yourself Into Abundance? And as you and I both know, um, that the self-love journey yes. is crucial to living an abundant life. Would you agree? It is the self-love because you have to feel worthy. You know, that self-love is, yeah, I'm worth it. I deserve an abundant life. I deserve, I deserve, you know, a good relationship and a good career and the money that I want and the vacations that I want. So many times we go from this limited mindset or things that we've been told, you know, or personally, you know, from parents or community members, but also from just that global consciousness that life's hard. You have to struggle to make a living. All these like, you know, comments that we've heard that go into our subconscious that we don't even recognize that they're there, but they're running all the time. That, and that's so true. And I just want, I mean, this is um, Jenny's book, which is called A Short Path to Change, which is where she relates her own healing story. But I just wanted to look at the first couple of chapters in this because it really relates to what we're talking about. In the first chapter, which I should have had open here, but I haven't. We'll get it there in, a in the uh, first chapter, she talks about releasing what we need to release. Get rid of the old stuff, the internal house cleaning. So, Jenny, what is it you think that we get? Uh, we get it gets stuck in here. My thing is, you know, make this shift from your head to your heart. But you know, what is it that you think, and, and what is it how people can be helped to actually release that? 
Well, first it's the recognizing it. It's the awareness. It's that openness. Just like you said, the people are like this in their life, you know, and walking down the beach like that, not even recognizing the abundance around them. So many times we're in our heads. And um, recently I heard a quote, we have like 60,000 thoughts a day. Uh, 95% of them, they're same exact ones as yesterday and 80% are negative. So if we're not opening our mind to new thoughts, if we're not actually conscious of what we're thinking, but just repeating that loop, Mm. it's usually not positive, you know, and our life isn't going to show up positively for us if we're not putting that energy out. It's really looking at what have I been telling myself, you know, when, when the word money and abundance comes up, what do I think? You know, when the word relationship comes up, what do I think? When, you know, just start questioning these things about ourselves and know that, I mean, it can be scary because it's not pretty stuff like this healing process. There's stuff that comes up that's not so pretty to look at, but it's okay because when we look at it, we can heal it. We can use either mantras or tools like Ho'oponopono or we can use Yeah, we can use things to heal it so we can get to the other side instead of repeating that loop. And that was one of the tools that, um, her, or forgiveness, being able to forgive yourself is a really big step in healing and in moving towards more abundance in your life. And I know that um, Jenny and I have both had healing journeys where we have actually used Ho'oponopono um, to heal ourselves. Do you still use that on a daily basis? Yeah, I just did it this morning in the shower. Yep. I still use it almost on a daily basis. I mean, some days a lot, you know, Mm -hmm. um, it really depends on the situation Mm -hmm. for myself. I find it always very powerful. If there's a situation in my life that I'm not Mm -hmm. comfortable with, or that's causing some kind of stress or old story to come up, Mm -hmm. it's really handy to use there to just kind of release that. But it really is about releasing those stories and knowing that we're all doing the best we can, you know, and that is, and I think that's really good is, you know, because some people, I mean, you think, well, I could say, you know, I've been doing personal development for, I don't know, 40 odd years or more, (laughs) you know, it's crazy, but I've, I mean, I've just started in a new business with a whole lot of heart centered people. And I thought I knew, and I'm finding this, this stuff breaking open. And I think, I thought I dealt with all of that. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, I have continued, um, I think ever since I learned to do it, um, I went back and found some old videos on YouTube um, where I'd actually been using Ho'oponopono when I had moon face and um, not the pretty <laughs> part. But I just sort of think, and I'm always surprised, you know, people say, oh, what is it? So Jenny, should we tell the people who are watching so they know, I think, what is this funny word? Ho, ho, po, no, ho. <laughs> I know, such a complicated word for it such is. an easy practice. It is. <laughs> do you want to do the practice or sure, we'll do sure. it together? Sure. Do you want me to give the background or just? Yeah. Uh, okay. No, I'll, I'll drop some notes in there. Oh, we can okay. tell people. Yes, it's a, it's a Hawaiian um, healing practice. Yeah, it's a wine healing practice. It has been seen to create miracles uh, beyond anyone's expectations. It is the first exercise I give to my clients because it's really important to begin with that self-forgiveness. And we just, we carry these stories with us and we repeat them over and over again. And our soul, our higher self really knows that we're much more than that egoic mind, those stories that we keep repeating. So it really allows us to tap into that energy, that universal energy, that energy that is that connects us to all. Mm-hmm. And it's four simple sentences. And I would always do suggest you start saying it for yourself first, because the self-forgiveness is really important. Before we even move on to the blame or whatever else we've put on someone else, you know, really beginning with ourselves. And the four sentences, do we want to do it together, Susie? Yeah, we'll or? Do it together. yeah. Okay. So it's, I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. And I mean, I know the first couple times I did that, and the first times I give it to clients, they all say they kind of break down because it is very powerful when we take that time and say that prayer 
for ourselves, you know, for releasing those things that we've been saying and, and holding and repeating to ourselves over and over again. Well, I'm now, I suggest to people, it's something that um, they use, they can use first thing in the morning um, just to, you know, it's sort of like a centering, like, I mean, I have this exercise where I say, you know, wake up and say, I love you. And just feel that, you know, what happens in your body. Mm -hmm. But, um, and I often do that in bed is do um, Ho'oponopono in bed and often mm -hmm. still with tapping. I, I added tapping into mine quite a while ago. And, but it's also something that we can um, allow ourselves to use to help other people, um, to, you know, to send, send that energy to other people as well. Absolutely. And also to heal relationships we've had with people, you know, or, or maybe blame that we've put on other people That's because right. that recognizing that, again, everyone's doing the best they can. And even if someone say has been abusive, they've probably been abused, you know, so knowing loving people that knowing at soul level, we're all perfect. And this humanness has us maybe not acting in our highest good all the time. But really, you know, being open to forgiveness doesn't mean, gee, I'm glad that happened to me, but it means that I'm not going to let it hold me back anymore. No. And it's and something we can learn from as well. We can learn by, by through forgiveness. Um, yes. I believe that we really can um, learn to heal ourselves and we mm -hmm. can learn to love ourselves so much more. And um, so, Jenny, I want to thank you so much for being here today. It was a wonderful discussion. We've, We've given a tool, I'm sure, to some people who probably have never heard of Ho'oponopono. And um, people will be able to get in touch with Jenny. I'll be um, posting all the details. They'll go with um, the interview. Is there any um, other word on abundance or anything you'd like to leave us with today? Just that you're worthy. <laughs> you know, just know it, claim it. A lot of times people say, well, when I do this, I'm worthy or when I'm going to do that. No, you're worthy right now, you know, and to stop and look at the things around you that are abundant, you know, whether it's, you know, your health or your friends or the love you feel, you know, for your pet or whatever it is, there is abundance in your life. So when you start focusing on that, it just gives that affirmation to the universe to give even more to you. Well, thank you. That's beautiful words to leave on. And thank you so much for uh, coming on to Abundant Life. Thanks so much, Susie. Oh, it's my pleasure. And I'm sure we'll be having Jenny back at a later time where we'll be talking more about other aspects um, that help us become more abundant. <laughs>